Today is the first day for a lot of students spanning from Marlboro and Dillon counties to Ori and Georgetown counties. As the school year kicks off, one advocate we spoke with says that we're facing a crisis when it comes to the teacher shortage. And News 13's Maddie Martinez is going to take a look now at teacher turnover in the Palmetto State and in Nori County schools, where hundreds of new teachers are already ready for day one. It's a story we've been tracking for more than two years. Local school districts exceed the state average for teacher turnover. The highest number of vacancies since it started 20 years ago. As the teacher shortage brought on by the pandemic rears its head. In South Carolina, the Center for Educator Recruitment and Retention releases teacher turnover data twice each school year. The most recent reports show nearly 7,000 teachers and school service workers left their jobs before last school year. That's a 15% increase from the year before. The mid-year update wasn't any better, as nearly 1,000 more teachers quit their jobs by February of this year. In terms of the problems that we're having recruiting and retaining teachers, um, I, I would say that we're in a crisis. Midlands teacher Steve Newsom is SC for Ed's research director. The group advocates for teachers across South Carolina, calling for increased teacher salaries, improved benefits, and more funding in our public schools. Things Newsom says have all been lagging behind, ultimately driving teachers out of the profession. How long until it gets better? It depends on the decisions we make. If you keep acting the way that we are now, I don't think it will ever get better. So, first up, the first thing you'll uh, most kids notice when they enter my classroom is my Harry Potter collection. Alexis Del Castillo is about to start his third year at Ocean Bay Middle School in Carolina Forest. But I have my Madagascar hissing cockroaches. The math and science teacher is HCS's reigning rookie teacher of the year. I come to school every day uh, just with the intention of providing a great, welcoming, safe environment for my kids where they can learn and feel comfortable. But Horry County Schools still has 67 teacher vacancies as of the end of last week. The biggest chunk of openings is for middle and high school level math and science classes, meaning Del Castillo's a hot commodity. Everybody's competing to, to grab the best of the best. District spokesperson Lisa Borsier says HCS is working hard to fill the nearly 70 vacancies, even using long-term substitutes and retired teachers to plug the gaps. The district's also been targeting teachers moving to the county from out of state with billboards all summer. Because there is an interest, again, um, you vacation here and a lot of people tend to live here. This year, more than 300 new teachers are coming to Horry County Schools, up from the usual 250, which should relieve some of the pressure Del Castillo felt this spring when some of Ocean Bay Middle's math classes were without a regular teacher. So we volunteered to pick up an extra class during his normal planning period. That was just extra weight on my shoulders, but I did that because I couldn't bear to watch another class go without having a teacher. It did cut into that work-life balance, but if it means making kids successful, it's worth it. SC Fred's Steve Newsom says teachers like Del Castillo shouldn't have to risk their personal lives doing what they love. He says change in the classroom starts with lawmakers in Columbia. We want teachers to have a voice. We want for policymakers who are making decisions about education to go to the people who have the expertise and qualifications to help come up with solutions. South Carolina lawmakers raised the minimum salary for teachers to 40000 this year as part of the state's $14 billion budget. Now, some school districts, like Horry County Schools, offer teachers more than that to start. Lawmakers also changed the state's education funding formula, streamlining it down to just one line item from the more than two dozen that it was before. Sarah's report on teacher vacancies for the 22-23 school year is due in November. In Sacristy, Annie Martinez, News 13.